Hello, it's Sarah. And I'm painting. I'm doing these little um, pins. But I was stippling. I started stippling and I thought, well, I could video this. Um, I'm going to do the little uh, snowman angels. They look like this. Kind of like that. And um, I'm stippling at the moment. I'm using this... Um, it's called a stippler, and you know what? I can't see the brand of the brush. My, uh, it's so old, it's kind of rubbed off, but no, it's not. I think it's low, low Cornell. I think so. I can't see it. I'm filming. Anywho, so this is stippling. I don't know if you can see it. But this brush has a flat bristle on the end. So you load it and you tap it off, kind of mush the paint into the bristles a little bit. And then I'm just, because I'm going to go over this with white too. I didn't load that very well. But it's almost like a dry brushing technique. You don't want a, a very wet brush or it just looks muddy. And there is a bit of practice to it. You know, like this is, I've done three already. But I basically am starting on the edges because I think I'm going to do the tummies the lightest. I'm going to go back over it with white after this. This is buttermilk. And... It's hard because it's a curved piece, first of all. I mean, I've done stippling before, but on a flat piece, it would be a lot easier to get consistent stipples. So, um, but that's basically the look. I'm trying not to cover all the purple. It's a, um, a deep periwinkle is the color underneath. And, um, you know, I, I have said many times I'm a heavy hand and especially with a technique like this, you don't want to beat it up too much. Like I said, it gets muddy or mushy. I'm not going to rinse my brush in water. I'm just going to pull it on my paper towel and kind of get the bulk of that paint out of there. So I'm just kind of rubbing it on my paper towel and mushing some of that paint out of there. Kirby stop. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of white on my palette. Guys make sure you shake your paint and really get it mixed up well because I haven't used these paints in a while and this periwinkle here was really watery and runny like it's got hardly any pigment in it but this is much thicker. It's got a lot more pigment in it. And Kirby come. So I've just been, because I haven't painted in a while, my paint has been sitting. So I'm just putting a little white out on my palette. And it says, stipple angel with buttermilk, then white to create snow. So basically I'm going to take my brush that I just had, the stipple brush, and just touch it into the paint. It's kind of loaded on the top and mash it down, just straight up and down. Pounce on the palette a little bit. Kind of push it down. Maybe even spread out the bristles a little bit. You don't want it uh, too wet. Like I said, kind of a little bit drier is better. And then I'm going to take my piece. And again, I'm trying to do this. Um, I'm going to stick to the middle this time. Kind of leave the outer edges. No, you know what? I'll go over the whole thing. But you don't want to take away all of the buttermilk that you just did, obviously. You want to kind of have a variation in color. So I don't want to just cover up everything I just did. So I'm going to try and put the white over so you can see it on top of the buttermilk.
it's looking a little snowier. By the time you add the details, um, this is this is all just underneath. It's not it's not going to be what you notice. So he's going to get a hat and a scarf. I just want to lighten his belly a little bit, I think, and his face. So that's that one with the white, and then this is just the buttermilk. Doesn't look like much, huh? But this is considered stippling. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit more because, oops, I'm gonna, I want you to be able to see how I load the brush as well. And then I'll hold the piece. I mean, I think it's probably hard to see with white but I'm going to take some off. I just kind of took it off. See how it's like, if you don't get the bristles kind of separated, it it's just like a blob. It doesn't really make a stipple effect. So, it's definitely in how you load your brush, the result you're gonna get. Oh, that looks pretty, I did it good there. And like I said, the drier, the brush, which means, I mean, obviously the paint's wet, it's not dry, it's not dry brushing, but you don't want a lot of, see now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that because the face, I mean, actually there's gonna be a little detailed face on there, so I'm not worried about it. It dries real quick, which I love. I'm probably putting too much paint. I haven't done this in a while, guys, but like I, I say to some of my painting subbies, practice makes perfect. The more you do this, it's trial and error. And unless you do it, you're not going to know. So don't be afraid to try. Get a little paint. Start patting it, patting it around, and I don't even know if I've been on camera because I'm so focused on doing this. That looks good. I can definitely see highlights of white in between periwinkle and the um, buttermilk. This one definitely I can see it and I don't think I've been on camera the whole time. I have one more. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I have eight, I have two minutes. I'm just gonna see what this if I can be on camera with this. Cool. This is definitely, see, by the fourth one, you get the hang of loading the brush, and it looks a lot more stipply. So I'm going to let those dry, and I'll come back and show you the next thing. Okay, I'm back. And I just want to share that this is um, Lori Link Designs. I got this years ago for $7, as you can see, and um, this has six different patterns for six different angels inside here. Um, season, seasonal Angel Pin Set 2 by Lori Link. Um, I'm sure she has a website, she has an email, but this is years ago and I just found it and thought, oh, I feel like making a few of those. Um, I have four of these, I'm sure she sells these little pieces too and they have these little wings that I'm gonna attach to the back along with a pin and I found another stippler this is called the low Cornell I knew it was low Cornell DM stippler 
Um, so this is just another size. This was $8.95. And I'm sure I bought this at a seminar or something. They were passing them around for to do the technique because it always helps to have the right tools. That is just a smaller one. The one I was using is like a half inch and this is a 3 8 inch. So the next step is we're going to do his little hat. And I'm just base coating. So I probably could just go away and come back. But I wanted to show you... Um, the brush and the um, what I'm actually painting is, uh, like I said, these Lori Link Seasonal Angel Pins. So I'm just going to base coat his little hat. Um, the pattern is actually much bigger than the pin itself. So you just follow, you know, I'm just going to freehand it as best I can. And um, I'll show you actually. Uh, if I do any shading or something, I'll show you. But I just wanted to show the stippling. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and it's actually the next day. Um, everything's dry, I finished. And um, I think they turned out really cute. I haven't glued the pins on yet. I have these pins and then there's this other type of pin that I think I have too, so we'll see how that goes. But the way the wings are, it's kind of, um, oh, I'm fumbly, fumbly today. Oh, darn it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I think it'll actually, I think it'll work. I think I'll be able to do it. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show, I didn't uh, want to film the whole thing. It's just too tedious with such a small uh, piece. But you see their little hats, and I ended up putting... I put the dimensional mag, oh not dimensional magic, what am I talking about? Liquid, per uh, liquid pearls. I put this for the little snow around his cap, but then I ended up sticklesing it too because it just, it gave it more dimension. Um, what else? I used Snow Tech, which is a cool product, and I have a brand new, this right here. It's a deco art product, and this is a brand new one. I had it, it was all crusty, but this is nice and juicy and crystally. so I'm looking forward to using that again. I have some um, Santa brushes I want to paint, so I'm going to probably be doing that. Um, anyway, they so I put a little bit of that snow tech on the bottom of these to just make it look like he's standing in snow, and I put a little pom-pom on his head. I painted the wings with... Um, a little bit of that Martha Stewart pearl to just give them like a little pearly glisten. I mean, they're pretty enough in gold, but um, yeah, so I did two of them like that with the little snow on the bottom. And I mean, it's really what I, I ended up just floating white around the scarf and under the cap just to brighten that area up, but I think they're cute. So I just really wanted to share the stippling technique with you guys. Um, and it, maybe I'll do it that way. I'll just kind of focus on a certain technique when I'm doing um, painting videos. And that way, when you need reference, you can just kind of um, have that as a reference. You don't have to go through the whole piece and watch the entire process. You can just have uh, go to like stippling or base coating or whatever. So um, we'll see what I come up with in the future. This was just fun. I enjoyed these. I like doing little teensy things too. Uh, so I'm in the midst of beading at the moment. I just started that last night. It's a, I wanted to do a wintry um, chunky charm and I only did two strands of chain this time. But, um, and I think I might change the top and just put it on a, a big jump ring or something, we'll see. But I just, I really am liking, since I have so many beads, why not display them? You know, I'm going to, oh, look at this, you guys. I have a TV. My husband is super awesome, but I have a TV now. So that just keeps me company. Um, I mean, I guess I could do an updated to tour of my room as well because it's getting better. I'm going to, I think I am going to end up getting rid of the chair um, and get a smaller, maybe like a bistro set or something, a table and two chairs. So like if Maya's here or something, I did want somewhere for someone else to sit and I love that chair, but look, I put my milk glass on the mantle and a couple of my art dolls. Um, what else? And that's just my beads, but like it's starting to get, 
I'm putting more stuff um, and I'm feeling more at home here in my new crafting space. But that's it for now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.